What I've done for 35 years is I've gone out as a discipline to meet a new person every two weeks that's expert in some other subject other than mine. But here's something about curiosity. Sometimes people go, why are you asking me that question? Because you're challenging authority. There's absolute disruption involved. Well, because I'm not gonna ask you, Louis, generic questions. Yeah. You're gonna get bored that fast. So I have to ask questions that are gonna make them think and challenge their existence. And that creates for me inspiration. I want to actualize the inspiration that I felt from that conversation. Probably the single thing I'm most curious about is who we are. How is it that we feel things? How is it that we ask questions? And why all this matters? And as those questions are answered, you fill up with a sense of wonder. Wonder is the gradual satisfaction of curiosity in a beautiful and surprising way. I think he asked Einstein's definition of God, and he said it was a sense of wonder. If you don't feel that, your eyes are closed, you might as well be dead. It's a sense of wonder, delight, humility, and loss of hubris, and actually confusion. Bewilderment is the holiest of holy experiences. You lose your hubris, and this becomes sacred in every moment. That's gratitude. We are all born with a sense of wonder. Sometimes it's triggered by astonishing feats, monuments to mankind's capabilities, extraordinary talents and gifts, or scientific discoveries that push the boundaries of comprehension. Wonder and awe allow us to transcend the ordinary, even to test our concepts of time and scale. We are, as they say, in the moment. Wonder inspires us to open our hearts and our minds to engender gratitude.